What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Another video here hitting me hard. As you guys saw in the title and thumbnail, you already know where we're headed. We are headed to visit the one and only, the Tortoise Whisperer. Um, famous on TikTok, he's got tons of subscribers on TikTok, tons on YouTube, makes super entertaining content. I'm excited to learn from him today. Check out his tortoise, the famous Ike, which is a ginormous sulcata. Um, but anywho guys, I am driving there right now. We're actually only about 15 minutes away as I had some work out this direction. But stick around guys, because this is going to be an epic video. Catch you in a minute. And this is a big one. Yeah, at first this was rhinos and then Damia took it over. And then, yeah. So it's only one tortoise goes in here then? Yeah, only Damia goes in here really. Some of the other ones will try to go in here, but she'll just like push them out and fight them out. Oh, really? She, yeah, she like shows her dominance and marks her territory sort of. When you get super heavy rain, does this fill up at all? Or yeah, no? yeah, it does. It fills up a ton, so I have to either put them over there or block off the Well, burrows. they'll come out. They're pretty good about coming out though, right? Yeah, they'll come out. I've noticed when my tortoises, whenever whenever they did burrow without me noticing, when it rained, they just come out. Yeah. So they're one smart. Time, yeah, one time it actually flooded and I found Damien on the top of the burrow right here and she instantly went like under and like sunk underwater. Oh, really? Yeah, and I jumped in there. <laughs> but she, like, I, I was like looking for her and then she was already out and I was like, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh crap. Yeah. Like it was literally filled up all of so here we are with the tortoise whisperers famous Ike and how, how long have you had him I've had him he's been in the family longer than me my dad got him 45 years or 46 years ago he's 46 now whenever he was just a half -year. he was just like the size of a father and he's been here ever since that is awesome he's massive look at the size of this tortoise compared to my feet absolutely insane super friendly i'll be honest most of my sulcatas won't let me touch their necks so this is pretty cool that he likes to be pet and here we are with damia beautiful beautiful female and as you can tell her and ike are best friends and she is just a gorgeous female this is a huge female huge huge female here's another one of those females what's this one's name francie francie Guys, I, that extra scoot right there. Yeah, one little extra one right there. Gives her her unique characteristics. We really need to get on naming all the tortoises because this is too cool. All of his tortoises he has here. Um, and who else do we got here? Let's take a look-see around and see what we got. Who do we got over here? This one, that's... Uh, that one's Tina. Tina? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. My uh, sister-in-law. He, here's the babies. He's got some super healthy ground-hatched baby sulcata tortoises. Mm -hmm. And uh, if any of you guys are interested, definitely hit him up. Uh, how do people get in contact with you if they want a tortoise? Uh, they can go on my website and sign up as a member. And whenever I release them, or not release them, like whenever I put them on my website for... They'll get notified? Yeah. Perfect. So if you have a baby sulcata from The Tortoise Whisperer, um, go check him out on his website, sign up, and uh, you'll get a notification. And who's this tiny one right here? This one's Linus. Linus. Yeah, that's Dino's brother. Dino's brother and Dino's over here? Yeah, Dino's next to Gertie right now. Or so, no. Yeah, next to Gertie. So this is Gertie. Oh no, I think Dino left or not. Yeah, Dino left. That okay. One's, that one's Tina's sister. This is Aurora. She Aurora. has this little hole right there, like a little little cut. wire right there. Yeah. yeah a little cut on her scoot. So that's how I can tell the difference. They look like <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and this one here. That's Gertie. Gertie, she's a she's, she's probably pretty old like too. Super defined. Like yeah, well. and she's got a really elongated shell too, which is kind of mm -hmm. unique. You don't see that a lot in the sulcatas. Because this one over here. Who's this over here next to Ike? That's Rhino. Rhino's got a really round shell. A bunch of flies everywhere. If you own, if you own a sulcata tortoise or any tortoise, they're going to crap all over the place. Because he said he just cleaned this up this, this morning, morning and they literally crap everywhere. So Try keep that in mind. <laughs> flies and tortoises, they poop. Tortoises poop, flies come. But that's awesome. And then who else do we got left here we haven't looked at? Yeah. We've got the one we put over there. Demi over there, yeah. And the dino's out somewhere. Demi ran away. Yeah. Let's go check Who do we have here hanging out under the playset? We got Demi right here. And she used to have an underbite, but she got rid of that over time, just like eating some pumpkin and stuff. So it wore down. Oh, that's that. awesome. Yeah, she looks really good now. Yeah. She's a really good looking tortoise. You can see she has this little spot on top of her shell, but that's from Ike just wearing down. Ike does work. Uh, he did. He put sent some me. Garlic oil on that. That'll for sure fix it. Yeah, make it look nice and clean and. Make sure you don't get any sort of infections there. He uh, sent me a video of Ike this morning, bright and early. 
going to town on the females. So that guy, that guy wastes no time at all. I need my albino males to do that because that would be epic. So this is a tunnel that Francie has dug. He said she's only been in here for two weeks. So that's pretty crazy how much these tortoises can excavate in two weeks. So if you're thinking to get a sulcata, we talk about burrowing on the channel all the time. Keep in mind, it's their natural instinct to do it, but they will grow, dig very, very fast. Yeah, and she started on this two weeks ago, but she hasn't gone any further. And the reason I haven't covered it up is because it is like, just she hasn't gone any further. So if I know if I cover it up, she's gonna start somewhere else and that one's gonna go even further. So I might as well just keep it right here. Totally. Yeah, that's awesome. She's not going any further. Dude, right here's a better thing right here. Oh yeah, let's go check Dino out. Do people love Dino? He's trying to get himself a new burrow going, huh? Yep. <laughs> they love this little area where it's all shade. Oh, I'm sure it stays super cool under here. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to get rid of this whole entire tree, so I just kind of tore it down and let it hang. Yeah, I know. That's perfect. That's all you need. Just that's super cool. Thing. That's awesome. All right, so we're here under his half pipe. You used to skate on this as a kid? Mm-hmm. All the time. Ike has had this burrow for how long? For like 15 years he started on it, but um, yeah, it's like about, it's super deep. And wherever I skate on here, he literally comes up. Oh, here's the noises and comes yeah. up to see what's going on. That, yeah. So how far in does that thing go? What's the farthest you've checked it? Whenever I go down there, it keeps curving. Like it curves down to the left and it curves again. So it's gotta be like 30 to 40 feet. That's epic, man. That's so cool. You said he's had this burrow for what? 15 years. Yeah, he started on it one day on my half pipe and there was no stopping him after that. And the bees came to say hello too. Yeah, there's some bees under there, we gotta get rid of them. <laughs> All righty guys, we just got done at the Tortoise Whisperer's house. Um, I apologize, the video's kind of all over the place. He introduced me to all the tortoises. Off camera, we chatted for almost an hour probably. It's awesome to get to know him. He is an amazing person. If you don't already follow him, I bet you do. Follow him on YouTube and on TikTok. He's got over four and a half million subscribers on TikTok and on YouTube. I think he's right around 300,000. So he's definitely killing it. Check him out. He's super, super cool. And as some of you guys noticed uh, on his TikToks and on my video, his face doesn't appear on the camera. He is the tortoise whisperer, guys. So you're never gonna see his face, at least for now. But anywho, he is absolutely awesome. I appreciate him. Huge, huge shout out to him for letting me come out and check out the tortoises. Um, Ike and Damia were two of the ones that I've seen in all of his TikToks that I was super, super stoked about seeing. Um, and Ike is a beast, literally a beast of a tortoise. So I can't wait. And hopefully someday I've got an albino tortoise the size of him because that would be amazing. But anywho, guys, tortoise whispers coming to my house next. So keep your eyes out for that. Make sure you've subscribed to him, subscribe to me because he's coming to my house next. But anywho guys, click the like button, click subscribe. We're gonna keep bringing you banger content every day of the week. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. And we'll catch you next time. Peace out.